Have you ever met someone who wears hearing aids but still can't seem to hear well? Or have you or one of your family members struggled to adjust to hearing aids, having to go back for adjustments to the sound over and over again? Unfortunately, chances are that the hearing aids were not properly adjusted or tuned for the person's unique hearing loss. According to years of research by audiologists investigating this problem, it turns out that there's only one way to reliably and accurately adjust hearing aids to someone's hearing loss. That's by using a technique called real ear measurement. If this technique is used, audiologists can be absolutely sure that the patient is hearing at their personal best. If this technique is not used during the fitting process, research shows that the tuning is very likely to be wrong, resulting in the person not hearing as well as they should. The UNC Hearing and Communication Center is committed to helping everyone hear at their personal best. And as a nationally ranked and recognized center of excellence for audiology care and doctoral student training, we do real ear measurements for every single hearing aid fitting that we do. What's the difference between a standard hearing aid fitting and a fitting using best practice? A provider using standard practice will enter the patient's hearing test results into computer software, which then generates an estimated fitting for the hearing aids. The provider then uses the patient's subjective response to the sound to make adjustments over time. The problem with this is twofold. How does the provider know what the patient is actually hearing? And how does the patient know what they should hear? Every person's ear canal is shaped in a unique way, which can alter the sound reaching the eardrum in unexpected ways. A fitting using only estimates will not be able to account for someone's individual anatomy. Secondly, a patient wearing hearing aids for the first time may not be able to articulate how a fitting could be improved. How could they? And isn't it the provider's job? This inaccuracy results in months-long frustration and many follow-up visits to get the fitting right. Meanwhile, neither the provider or the patient may be aware that the hearing aid is not programmed correctly, which leads to poor speech understanding and lack of satisfaction with the devices. In some cases, patients search out a different hearing aid to buy, not realizing it was the fitting that was to blame. What a waste. Now imagine a way to measure and verify what a hearing aid is doing in real time. Real ear measures is a crucial part of a best practice hearing aid fitting. It removes the guesswork and ensures that the fitting is safe and accurate from the beginning. By placing a small silicone microphone tube into the ear canal, the audiologist can see exactly what the patient is hearing from inside their ears. This also integrates the size and shape of the patient's ear canal directly into the fitting. With the microphone tube in place, the audiologist presents a calibrated speech sample from a speaker, which in turn is processed through the hearing aid. The pitch and loudness of the hearing aid is then compared to a research-based prescription. Using the manufacturer's software as a tool, the audiologist fine tunes the hearing aid until the prescription is met. No other fitting procedure is accurate to the level of a single decibel. While follow-ups are still an important part of a fitting process, any remaining programming adjustments are minimal, allowing the provider and the patient to focus on counseling and personal communication goals. Real ear measurements are absolutely critical to the success of a hearing aid fitting. While real ear verification has long been considered a key part of hearing aid fittings for babies and children, it has not been widely adopted for adults. And yet, decades of research shows that any person with hearing aids will need this procedure to hear their best. At the UNC Hearing and Communication Center, we are training the next generation of audiologists to do real ear measures on every hearing aid fitting. We also happily use this procedure to reprogram and optimize hearing aids 
even if they were purchased from somewhere else. How a hearing aid is fit matters more than the cost, the style, the brand of the device, and whether your hearing aid is fit by an audiologist using best practice is the only way to ensure that you will achieve your hearing goals to the fullest. Thank you.